Proxy Table Gaming PTG. I am Hyper G with Lucky Sixes. Buongiorno, Bruno. Bruno? We don't, we don't talk about Bruno. Well, let's not then. Let's move on. Oh, all right, let's move on. So, Massacre came to an end. Or did it? Or did it? I don't know how we got here. Bloody. Right. <laughs> Into the quarterfinals we go. You go. I go. Yes, leaving me in the dust. So... I honestly don't know how I got here, really, in terms well, of... Well, considering you needed, like, 17 plus in yeah, the last it game. Was, um, it was strange. Um, I, I like the list. I don't think I play it particularly well. Um, I, I think it plays itself more than anything, um, which really? is kind of what I wanted going into <laughs> it. But, yeah, here I am in the in the top eight, I guess, in the last eight, yeah, yeah. Um, fighting off against Dread Elves and your last opponent... Yes, Trent. I I gave him a bit of a PTG warm up. It would have been. Did you you butted him up just for me? And uh, yeah, something like that. Here mm. we are. Um, map B five for those that are things. Uh, the difference between like we did sort of allude to it. We um, did. We alluded. We alluded a lot. Uh, there is no not twenty. No. Uh, no. Not, not- the only, no VPs. Yeah, the only the only VPs that matter are for like so if you lose the game, your VPs determine your ranking in the tournament. Um mm. so just don't lose and it doesn't matter about the north twenty or nothing like that. So yeah. uh dominate the field was our objective and our sole objective for the battle, doesn't matter how much you The only way die. to win was to win the objective. Right. So um we each had a table quarter. I'm already confused. Right, so we're in the orange. <laughs> orange? Beige? We as in me and you, or uh, as in you and Trent? Me and Trent. Right, okay. He's in one, I'm in the other. Uh, there's yep. a 20-inch gap between us. Um, in terms of the objectives, uh, at the end, of, it's all at the end of the game, so you have to be there at the end of the game, nothing in between, which is good okay. because we didn't have to monitor it, really. Um, mm-hmm. If you're in the opponent's quarter, then it's mm-hmm. three points. In one of the mm-hmm. side ones... Mm-hmm. Then it's two points, and in your own one, it's one point. All that to be scoring, which is obviously good for me. Um, mm. And yeah, so that was an interesting sort of play <clears throat> on things. Uh, different, very different mindset uh, to a, a regular battle and just trying to kill as much as possible. You actually had to manoeuvre yourself around, which mm. I didn't think was too much of a problem for me because it's not actually that big a gap to get into the opponent's zone, and that's where my big block's going. Yeah. Um, but it, I guess it was the others, and I didn't want to leave my chosen completely solo because uh, here's my list. Blah 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 blah. Uh, because he's got two big units of dreadnoughts, which obviously again we alluded to in your battle. Um, we did, but I, actually, I nearly spoiled the fact that you got through to the quarters in my battle, but then I just <laughs> just held myself, just maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so the big issue with them I mean he's got other things obviously the, the Dread Prince and the, the selection Officer high agility and stuff but Dread Knights are agility 6 so agility 7 on the charge, the charge. Yeah, yeah. which my chosen are agility 6 and they, Off they the charge. which means they will die before they attack and they have to attack to be good so they were, mm-hmm. they were a big worry for me uh, going into this yes he's got a lot of shooting I, I have a decent amount of armour to that the repeated batteries I'm not so keen on uh, but all the Shadow Riders and everything, I'm not too fussed. Because uh, you've got resilience and armor. Right? Resilience so, and armor, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll chip some wounds, and I imagine that's what it'll go for in, in terms of chip damage. But uh, yeah, it's <laughs> interesting. There's nothing really I'm really scared of, even in terms of the prints and stuff, because I've got my characters, apart from the Dread Knights. The Dread Knights will, yeah. if left to their own devices, uh, devices um, screw me up, bruv. Yeah, they will. Uh, I agree. Gorgons are annoying, but I think I go at the same time. So I'm, I'm like, uh, I'll kill him. They'll yeah. do a damage Apart from to me, but I'll kill high him. High agility thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is my attempt at trying to draw a perfect uh, <laughs> objective <laughs> deployment as we as we were doing. Beautiful. Uh, Beautiful. I am bottom left. Uh, he is top right, um, leaving the others as the neutral zone. It's really condensed then, isn't it, the way you guys are playing? You're literally yeah. just going all or nothing, aren't you? Really? It is. And actually, I think that helped me out a little bit because yeah, you yeah. can see he's like moved around and everything. Uh, he does have Vanguard to come, which I, I don't have a direct picture of uh, straight away. But uh, yeah, it's... Um, it, 
he's very compacted. Had to put his dread knights actually quite far back. Um, mm. He's doing it quite defensively uh, to protect his uh, batteries very well, uh, and obviously he's not leaving any flanks and everything. So um, yeah, I don't. I, I'm not sure uh, who it suited more. I, I'd, I'd tend to say me because of the I've, I'm a small army anyway. Um, I'm quite elite, so. Yeah, so in terms of myself, I've got, uh, what have I got? So yeah, I've got um, the Lust Warriors are on the left. Oh, sorry, so we've got Chosen, Chosen, going from, going from left to right. So Chosen at the yeah. back, Chosen yeah. on the line, Lust Warriors, because for, I cannot understand how to use them properly <laughs> everything else is quicker than them so they can't be the best chaff so i was like right i've just got to put them front and center and try and suggest what remind me i mean i'm sure this has come up they before. can flee I, I sh- right so they are kind of like a, a harassment unit yeah for and they're like to set traps and things I, yeah uh, but they still pump out like four fifteen yeah, oh, yeah, attacks yeah. there's still a, a, a decent amount of strength for mm. attacks um mm. but yeah so i was I was on an hour and I'll best to use it, and I thought, right, well, I'll I'll put them front and center and mm. march and forth to see what I can do with them because sure. up till now I've had them in the back or um, just sort of like supporting, just, and you're like, I yeah. don't think that's what they're there for, um, and I haven't been able to use them well. Uh, so let's let's try something different with them. Uh, let's try something different. So Good idea. chosen, chosen, lust warriors, normal warriors with all the gri- big griblies, all the characters, and then chosen on the right. For me, nice and yeah. simple. Um, for him, he's got the uh, Shadow Riders up the top. Um, just below the Shadow Riders in the water is a rocket battery. The Acolytes uh, just next to them with the Manticore behind, the Wizard mm-hmm. Manticore. Uh, yeah. Selexian Spears at the back. Uh, repeat battery just in the forest with the Dread Knights. Uh, unit of eight Dread Knights on their own uh, behind the forest looking at the repeater battery. Yeah, right, fair mm-hmm. enough. Um, below the forest, you've got two units of Shadow Riders, um, all to Vanguard, uh, so don't get too hung up on their position. Um, the General and BSB in with the other unit of eight uh, Dread Knights on the hill, so again, mm-hmm. it's good use of hill for me. From him. I suppose as well, magic resistance four in that unit won't matter because you've only got buff spells. Yeah, I I didn't take hellfire this one. Um, could have been useful, I guess, against some elves, but I, I was like, I'm going to get into combat and I need to be good in combat. Yeah. Uh, another battery on the hill with the uh, selection spears and the gorgons. Uh, I guess protecting the flank. Cool. So um, in t- uh, he vanguards. Because uh, I have no Vanguard, and I but I could go first, so I I, I believe I dropped because it didn't really matter um, to go first. And what he left me was a double six charge, <laughs> and like a bull to a <laughs> china shop. He, but yeah, basically it was red flag. <laughs> yeah, all the red. Uh, so I did I did consider being patient. <laughs> um, no, you didn't. Don't lie to yourself. <laughs> Do well, not lie to yeah, even, anyone. Even Trent was like, you're not going to leave a double six. And I was like, oh, We've been going no, yes. no, I'm not going to leave it. Let's charge. And uh, and actually, yeah, I didn't get in. Oh, of um, course. Yeah, yeah. But, and, you went to double one by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah I, did, I did go really, really no, not far at all. Um, I moved my other chosen on the other flank uh, up as, as much as possible in order to sort of cover and things. I'm not too bothered about his Shadow Riders getting in behind me. There's not a lot I can do about it. I don't have no. the units to... And at worst, they're just going to chip damage me all game. Um, yeah. And at best, they'll charge me. <laughs> but so, they're not scoring, so it's not like you have to worry about them achieving objective points. So yeah. screw them. Yeah. Yeah. Even if they charge me in the flank to a certain extent, I'm. Mm. Yeah, you know, I'm still extra good free combat res for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm. I'm still six uh, attacks the, of strength. Yeah, yeah, the plus one for a charge and plus one for a, a flank is going to be easily made up by two or one, one or two warriors yeah, killing. So. Um, I have to be a little bit careful. I don't leave them like easy combo charges or whatever. Sure. But um, I, uh, right now, I can't think about it. Um, okay. And this was another issue. So I was like, right, what I've got to do is I've got to be aggressive because I don't want him like shooting as much as you know. I don't want him having three turns of shooting before it. So I was like, right, I've got to use my Relent- relentless company banner. So I use it, and then I'm like, well, my lost warriors can't catch up. <laughs> so, how, now they're at the back so they're at the back they're oh, support so 
even even with that set out in mind, I was I couldn't figure out a way of getting them up uh, to it. Mm. And I don't want to leave like a silly charge where over right. and things. So I just leave them there. We'll see what they can do in the game, <laughs> <laughs> or we won't. Yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of uh, spells, I get um, the five of pages and plus one to hit uh, on there. He. He lets them go and stops rerolls to wound. I think he, has, he's, he hasn't got charges because. with anything good at the moment, has he? So. Uh, well, he could double charge. Uh, so, sure. like, he could charge his acolytes, his shadow warriors, uh, shadow raiders, or whatever raiders, uh, and mm. his guy on the thing. So, because he can see me, so he could. Okay. Uh, yeah. But it, it, with this going off, it's a mm. signal that he's not gonna. Yeah. Um, so onto him, he fans out with his two shadow uh, riders on the flanks. Uh, to be expected moves up cautiously um with, with the guys on the right as we're looking at it uh gorgons go the most aggressive with shadow riders behind um the uh spears uh, move up i guess move out uh to continue and to identify what they're going to be doing all game uh just trying yeah, to grabbing two points on the trying objective. to get into that objective correct um the acolytes go back at the top as far as they can the uh, Manticore just moves in a good position out of line of sight of the main mm-hmm. block. And for the most part, everything just kind of backs off a bit, uh, buys his time. I wasn't entirely sure what he was doing uh, on the hill. That was my only... Yeah, I looked at that. I thought <laughs> yeah. that's, that's interesting because it means you can march up without fear of him charging you with that unit. So, yeah, Obviously, I mean, he's got the other Dreadnought unit, but still. Yeah, I mean, he's got the other Dreadnoughts, but my generals attack at the same time as his Dreadnoughts, and I don't think that's a good... Pa- I'll lose some warriors, but... Mm-hmm. You'll take that. Yeah. Um, so, that I didn't really know what he was going for. There was clearly something, but yeah, um, I, that's that's his movement, basically. Um yeah. He gets whispers of the bale off on these guys to allow his shots to do a little bit more. Uh and these guys and what is three? Um the evocation what, um, uh the three Hasten the hour. Yeah. Uh the three hits. Yeah. So and all three wound. So you're like, oh, fair okay. play. Um he does a few wounds over here, uh with a shadow with, with multiple shootings, I think. Yep. Uh, and uh, does a couple more over here with the shooting as well. More shooting. So just oh. again, it's chick- I mean, it's not. It doesn't change much for me right now. But I can't take that three or four turns. You know, I can't. Not for that. not for no punishment. Yeah, yeah right. Turn. So mm. um, so yeah, it's, it's it's good enough as a start. Uh, and on to my turn. So uh, let's talk about the chosen first. The chosen have a long charge. I think it's a ten um, into the gorgons. Uh, if he it's can, two less than twelve, it is. Uh, so I'm, uh, I mean, you know. I'm making it easier for me. Exactly. Um, I am thinking. I, I again, I can't just stick around. I can't be too aggressive because I don't want lot, multiple things charging in. So if I can charge in, I'll go first. If he charges me, he's at the same time. So it's still not the worst thing. And if I get this charge, I'm into the flank of his. Um, uh, the spears and that's mm. that's pretty good so it's more Very of good. a risk reward I don't lose much I'll do, lose a bit of uh, marching but otherwise I don't really lose much for, for mm. failing the charge um, and the other one in the centre so he left a uh, so if the chosen was a 10 um, this one's about a 8 I think mm. my big block into yeah. his shadow riders um mm. And obviously, with the Gorgons being there, I then get an overrun into his uh, repeater, repeater, bolt thrower, and and uh, yeah, it, it, I, I was into the Dreadnoughts potentially because they wouldn't be able to charge it. Yeah, and their uh, movement would be limited. So I saw this and I was like, okay, well, I'll, 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 again, I don't lose much for char- for charging. I, the Manticore might be in my flank, but he's not coming in. Um, so yeah, I'll charge it. And he was—he thought about fleeing, but he'd be off the board because uh, if we just move us slightly, there is a big impassable there. Yeah, um, yes. and Gone. obviously might might even uh, scare off his, his spears as well. So he he basically just stood there and waited for me to fail a charge, but I didn't. Ooh, Wait, you did you did one. 
yeah, yeah, he did but well, not with but that. Not, one. not so much of the important. Not with the main one. They, they chose to stumble forward, but what are they going to do? Their second failed charge in two turns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, uh, and yeah, my my big block get in, and really that's a that's a massive massive uh, swing, uh, or the first swing, should we say, um, in this battle really, because I, I I should. Defeat the uh, Shadow Riders. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing there was less than 25 millimeters between the Gorgons yes. and your unit. Yeah, there. so th- no point in shuffling closer to the Gorgons. Exactly didn't, right. Didn't get any more in. Exactly yeah. right. Um, so yeah, um, uh, <coughs> that's where we're at with that. Uh, my chosen on the left think right. Okay, well, in order Box to capitalize on this sort of thing, I've got to put some pressure on over there as well. So he's got to think about both flanks. Um, and and yeah, uh, that's where we're at. What are your lust warriors doing now, man? What I mean, I'm just like, well, let's <laughs> let's let's support the chosen who are inevitably going to be charged. Maybe. Uh, we move on. Uh, I get <laughs> three rolls to wound off. Uh, right, right. For mainly for the warriors, if I'm honest, but it doesn't really matter too much. I defeat the shadow riders and overrun into mm. the. Bolt thrower, the repeater battery, um, yeah. and um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy uh, with that because obviously you can't get the full unit in. Um, you could get a character in, couldn't you? Get a character in, um, and yeah, that leads us on to his turn. Uh, the one thing it did do was right. it left a flank charge with his other dreadnought unit. Sure. Which, uh, and you know, he charges as you can see, charges his general in uh, mm. the transcendence general. Um, into my front, uh, which there'll be a duel or something going on, uh, but is able to get his, um, well, at least declare a charge with his Dread Knights uh, on a, what's that, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, which is mm-hmm. like a 4 or something. No, yeah. what's, what's their movement? 7. 7, yeah, so that would be right. Uh, he gets in, unfortunately for okay. me, and we, you know... I'm likely to be steadfast unless he can do a butt- buttload of wounds. Mm. Um, so I'm at least pleased for that. I think I can grind him out and the best thing I've got is the reroll to wound off. Um, yes. So my worry is at least I'll get a decent amount of attacks. Well, he'll do a bunch of wounds. but um, So you'll be hitting on threes? No, fours. Uh, against yeah, around that sort of thing. And wounding on... Um, three is re-rollable. Four is re-rollable. Oh yeah, yeah. Is he strength? Uh, is res three. Res, res three rounds yeah. now. Yeah. But yeah, so um, yeah, interesting over there. Uh, we'll certainly see what magic and stuff has to say over there. Um, mm-hmm. The gorgons back off because they want to uh, allow a bit of um, counter charge ability. Yeah, uh, absolutely. For the future. Um, and aren't really too worried about uh, the Chosen giving them a long charge. The Shadow Riders behind them just maximise out of the Lust Warriors' uh, arc. <laughs> of course oh, they do. Oh my goodness. Um, and uh, just ready to take some pop shots, basically. Uh, at hmm. the top, I have a, a, a bit of luck um, in that the Warlock Acolytes failed a march check. Um, ah. And obviously with the BSB in general over the other side of the board... Um, can only move eight and decide to go where they are because that sort of is as far yeah, over bad, as they can go. Bad situation, go. yeah. Um, and it means that my chosen are getting <coughs> in charge. Absolutely, time, they will. Which is amazing because they're about 400 points. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, and some magic. It's swingy mm. with the four pages, but I, I should be uh, all right in that. Well, it's not like he's going to counter charge with his shadow riders into your, into your flank, is it? Exactly. So you can do that over a few so, turns if necessary. Yeah, so... Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, very happy. His manticore comes behind me. Again, there's not much I can do against flying nope. single models, so I just have to take that. Um, and uh, sort of they surround me over there as well. Uh, this is Bound Spell, Hand of Heaven. Hand of Heaven, yeah. Gets a wound off. Uh, I let it go for sure. Uh, some more shooting goes into this and kills another one or two. Um, mm-hmm. it's just That's a, all right. Uh, again, I, I only need three or four, really. I think I think you'd only forward. mind that situation if you didn't have the Acolyte Charge. Absolutely. Like, absolutely. Knowing you've got the Acolyte Charge, you're like, yeah, shoot me all you like. I've got, yeah. I know I've got a unit back already. So For sure. Uh, and yeah. over here, I mean, buttload of wounds Tasty. they do yeah. do. Uh, I obviously mm. killed the repeater battery. I do three wounds to the um, guys uh, on the flank. 
Uh, we have a bit of a fluff off, and he does a wound to me, and I do nothing to him uh, in, a duel? in the duel. Right. Um, I, I figured I would duel uh, because then it would allow my other, um, like him to attack, and also my other uh, characters to attack the battery. So I have like specific thing rather than both having to do the same thing. Um, I yeah. But uh, thankfully, I'm steadfast and I hold, uh, which was very, very nice. Um, but yeah, I, and I'm thinking I, I can probably um, grind him out. At this yeah, because he loses uh, ruthless efficiency and lances now. Yes, so and it, his, <coughs> so, uh, his lord is plus one strength, because that's yeah. the transcendence thing. But now as uh -huh. well, I can... Um, I'm not sure this was a jewel, actually, if I'm honest. Sure. Thinking well, his, his character could only impact like that. So. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, this is an overview of mm -hmm. the board. Uh, yeah. As you can see as well, I haven't mentioned it before. He sort of moved his his guys back off the hill. Um, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. As well. Uh, onto my turn, and I charge in the top with my chosen into his acolytes. Of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. um, I. I think I fail another charge with that chosen. I think they've stumbled <laughs> forward six or something. Mm. Um, at this point, it, it doesn't matter too much. My, uh, and... But you could also have been preparing for the counter counter charge. You got it. <laughs> um, I fail charge into the battery. I think, um, or no, I, I in fact I don't take a, a I don't uh, charge. I march through and take a few wounds to uh, DTs. Mm. Uh, my lust warriors. Face that way, they're fed up. No, they're fed up of being in this army whatsoever, so they're facing back. Um, and yeah. you know what? Someone charged me so I can flee. <laughs> um, they actually <laughs> moved to there to get out of the Manticore's uh, arc, so stay out of arc. I suppose um, the Manticore coming for a flank and cause yeah, problems. Yeah, I don't yeah. really want the Manticore doing anything silly, uh, so mm. he's just out. And I and my lost warriors will stay in my deployment zone and get a point. So there you go. Could you not? I suppose you would have risked the manticore by moving forward. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, so really, it means there was absolutely no reason my lost warriors couldn't be the bottom left corner for the whole game. Yeah, there was that, but uh, anyway, you tried anyway. Um, over here, and Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna say, tell you what, these dread knights—they are very good stats-wise, but second round onwards, yeah. Nothing. Um, I do two wounds to his Transcendence Lord now that he's off the charge. Um, not that that matters in terms of armour, but uh, that was uh, that. Uh, Spike Shields actually do a hell of a lot of wounds uh, to the Dread Knights. And do, I do four wounds. Uh, I get the plus one to hit uh, as my only buff off, um, but that mm -hmm. is enough really to help me out. And um, yeah, and uh, I do four wounds, six wounds. He does maybe two or three. Um, he has a bit, bit of a poor round. Um, and I win by loads of combat um, and decide to chase. Oh no, I, I decide to turn because it's my Spike turn. Spike Shields OP. Next. Is it my turn next? No, it's his turn. No, it's and his I'm, turn next. Yeah, I, I, I will, we'll see what, whether those Dread Knights want to come in with my Chosen Lords pretty much at full strength. Mm. Uh, over here, I mince him up um, and he flees. That's good you did it in a turn. Yes, yeah, really good. I, I turn to face this way just to allow me to charge if I. If, if I can, um, and maximise both ways, I guess, uh, mm -hmm. if someone does want to try a silly charge. Uh, this is an overview um, of the battlefield going into his turn. Uh, his turn three. You've got an Aegis on your warrior unit as well, is that right? No, that was the plus one to hit. Oh, right, okay. Oh, fair enough. Uh, he tries this charge, this cheeky charge. So... He's his he's he's losing lots of lots of points and a lot of space in terms of his scoring units moving up for his for example his spears can't march past me to get into the, the neutral zone here. Um and he tries a bit of a Hail Mary, so he charges the flank of my chosen, knowing that I'm uh in a river, which I think means I can't be so fast. Um I, I don't know. I We didn't really... I, I know out. that's definitely the case with forests. So mm. I'm not entirely sure. Um, with rivers, but also, but yeah. he's like, well, it's going to be a charge, a flank. Uh, you've got six attacks, and I need to 
and really you should be hitting me on threes and me on twos. You might do three wounds. So, so he's in your flank there, is he? Yeah, he yeah like... so he is in my flank. I have to move to him. Right. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, like yeah. That. And uh, he, he's unable to maximise much more, but he's merely just hoping that I fluff. Mm. I've only got six yeah, attacks. Um, anything. Only six. Yeah. yeah, I know, in the flank. <laughs> Um, Only six nasty chosen attacks. <laughs> he moves up his manticore to support, uh, really trying to knuckle down that side, and uh, moves his, rallies his lord, which I was a bit, a bit annoyed at, um, and f- uh, gets out of my line of sight uh, with the dread prince, uh, dread knights, uh, on the right with the warriors. So uh, okay, okay. I, I guess uh, a bit unfortunate that I wasn't able to. To sort sort them mm. out, but um, they're not going anywhere. Uh, and, um, I mean, you can charge into his character, kill the character, then turn to face the potentially. Knight, but... um, I I think if I do that with my whole unit, I might struggle. But um, we'll yeah, see, but we'll see what way is the way his knights are to get out of your line of sight. There, they can't march. Past they can't upward. march. Yeah, so, right, so they're not actually getting very far and away. And he tried to do it so that he could march and he couldn't, so he just moved yeah, out yeah, yeah. a bit like my Lost Warriors before. Uh, doesn't go yeah. into the Gorgons again. The Gorgons are getting a bit frustrated because every time he does some wounds, he, he means I'm out of his line of sight. <laughs> um, sure. So uh, they just sort of move into to really multi support. You've got the spears in the very corner. Uh, don't worry yeah. too much about them. Uh, the single raptor continues to flee uh, okay. and flee. He doesn't he? Fine with the DTs and everything, um, mm. but gets uh-huh. to there. Um, uh, water is indeed lose steadfast, by the way. So. There you go. Um, yeah. uh, over here, I don't fluff. Uh, no. I, I, I mean, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, it's like six wounds, isn't it? Six at uh, six, yeah. Uh, Yikes, man. Just the chosen just go to town. Um, they're always gonna wound and kill, but it's the hitting pit, and I just hit yeah, with yeah. everything. And uh, yeah, so or you're they, hitting on hit on threes, wounding on twos. Yeah, um, they flee. Uh, I chew, I restrain because uh, I have to, uh, but I do, and I turn to face like this because his manticore's quite big. So hmm. my thoughts are, I can see both the things, and I can do a little. Oh, I thought it was the next picture, crisscross, crisscross. Yeah. Oh yes, of course, because. But go back a picture. Go back a picture. Are you about to charge the manticore? So this is his turn that he's charged me on. My next yeah. turn is well, I've got the next turn. So I turn to face the manticore in order to crisscross. Sure, I get that much, but you've done a combat reform, so you shouldn't have been able to charge. Oh yeah, you're right. If you'd have done a pivot, would have been able to massive, charge. Massive cheating going on. Because oh, I definitely sorry. Do. I definitely do. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say uh, you um, not. So, uh, we just completely forgot about that. Yeah, sorry. Um, I, I, I should have messaged you offline. <laughs> I charge, I think, with the whole unit in the end, in which case he flees, um, yeah. and I sort of stumble forward. I do do a crisscross, which is, mm. yes, I, I definitely shouldn't be able to. I don't think it sure. makes too much of a difference, because I can still get the arc and everything. Yeah, I mean, if you'd have stayed five wide with one behind, you still do that move. Yeah. It's not like you can't uh, do it. I, I think I just did that for uh, kicks and gears. I do lose four wounds to the DTs, though. Sure. So oh, maybe that's karma. Karma, karma, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah. in, that, in that point of view. Um, and my warriors just stumble uh, onto the, the hill. Uh, Lost warriors are, are now coming into action. Behind Ooh. the Shadow Riders and uh, <laughs> helping my Chosen out. Yeah, they won't be there long. <laughs> um, speaking of things not being there long, the repeat battery and the Manticore nice. or die. It, nice. It just evaporated. Um, yeah. I, I, I turn to face the Shadow Riders who are only, have only got a rally potential. Um, and I turn to face the Spears. I don't want to overrun because they actually are the higher agility than yeah, me they if, are, yeah, if yeah. I charge into them. Yeah, uh, uh, just well, going same, on the actually. yeah on the Manticore thing. You actually would have had less attacks if you'd have been in your original formation. So, no more attacks. Sorry, if you'd have been in your original formation. So uh, actually, by changing no, formation, I don't get any. Had, oh sure, you had less attacks, so you managed to kill it with less attacks than what oh. you should have had. Uh, so DTs and everything would have it, mattered anyway. It, so. Exactly, it's probably okay in the long run. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, I turn to face like that, and this is an overview of the game. Um, I'll move us to over here because there is a silly lord in the corner. It is his turn next, but it's looking pretty good for myself. I've still got yeah. five scoring units uh, on the table. Um, mm. So, yeah, really, it's just what uh, what is everyone going to do? And he decides to... This is uh, into my next turn. Um, okay. because basically he rallies his Shadow Riders at the top, he rallies his uh, Lord uh, at the top um, right, he moves he, he can only move he can't march his Dread Knights uh, to where they are, he marches up his Gorgons to protect his Dread Knights a bit uh, and leaves the Shadow Riders there to pew 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 mm. uh, on to can my ask, turn though. Yes. Sorry, can, can I ask in your previous turn I might have missed it because I was thinking about Mount Tuhor so sorry about that but your big unit of warriors with your lords in, they charged the single character and the character fled, is that yes, right? Yes, and he like went like could, 10 inches. Could you have just charged with a chosen lord? I could have, yeah, but um, my thought was if I... your unit to face the Dread Knights or not? Yes, um, I didn't want to for some reason. Okay. I don't know. I mean, is, I mean if, if that Dread Knight my, oh, charges... My thought was, lord. I'm not sure no. this chosen unit at the top is going to survive the whole battle. Sure. Um, yeah. So, I mean, he hasn't charged me, so that is good. He, we both know it's better for him to accept a charge. Yes, yes. Um, uh, so my thought is, well, I'm going to need this unit in this area anyway. Sure, so yeah, true. It would probably, it probably up, what it is, is yeah. if I get him, great. Uh, mm -hmm. I can move my Chosen out at some point, and like, now my actual Lords can are happy to go one-on-one -on -one against yeah, anything. Makes really. sense. Makes sense. But it was an option, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so on to my turn. I think this is my turn five, I'm going to say. It could be some, uh, could be six or whatever. Um, but my chosen actually bypass the spears completely and go into the, you can't see it, but the repeater battery in the forest. Um, it's about oh, that's a, nice. a six charge. Um, and um, yeah, then I just miss the spears completely. I do charge yeah. the uh, riders as well. Um, and they flee, but not much. Uh, okay. uh, I also charge with the Lust Warriors. Hooray! We do something. <laughs> um, and they flee, take some DTs, uh, but, but for the most part are fine. I charge into the Gorgons because yeah. I'm going to go first, so that should be great. Um, and I'm, I don't mind these Chosen not surviving the game because I've got uh, four other units sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, gorgons. My Chosen over here, Catch Shadow Riders, Great, nice. I turn them this way because that's where they're going to go. Um, the Two Chosen over the here yeah. uh, needed a six, got a six um, to get into there. Um, I march up the uh, Warriors just to be like this. I'm like, if he goes backwards, great. Uh, if not, I will should be able to charge him. Uh, chosen get in. Obviously, Lust Warriors do not get in. I'm uh, <laughs> protecting my rear like good Lust Warriors should. Yeah. Uh, I get plus one to hit. And nice. three rolls to wound, I want to say. Uh, on Spectral the chosen, blades, yeah. Chosen Warriors, that's pretty good, even if I get charged. I mean, I'm going to lose loads if I get charged by the Dread Knights, but hey-ho. Mm. Um, over here, um, I kill the repeater battery, and yeah. those spears don't want any part of the battle after that. They panic no. and run. Oh, they panicked off. Oh, brilliant. Like the good zebras they are. Um, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. So yes, um, that I mean I cleared up the flank. Happy days, uh, and it means that this unit now of three chosen warriors is probably going to survive uh, and run for the corner. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can so, get two more objective points. Yeah, yeah really nice. good. Um, and with the oh, last, I like uh, this. last picture of the game. Um, so this is my much neater. Uh, version of things it's using uh, <laughs> circles and s squares and all and what not. Um, so we call it there uh, after yep. the spears get panicked off um, mm -hmm. because basically my chosen units at the top are just going to go for the corners completely un uncontested. I've only got one more turn. He's only got one more turn. I can we can easily avoid any sort of combat over there. My lost warriors return back to my. <laughs> <laughs> own, um, my own one and my leaving my, my big block just to completely ignore his stuff and go so to the bottom you don't get more than one set of objective points for two units then in no, so it's one or more unit in the 
in each zone. Right. So if you had your warrior unit with your lords in and the lust warriors in that bottom right section, you still only get two points. Uh, yes. Essentially, you wouldn't have got um, four points. Okay. In, in That's why your lust of... warriors have turned around. Yes. Exactly right. So there, there's no point having multiple units in. Different oh, so areas. similarly, Trent didn't get four points for having his dread knights and his spears in the bottom right. Got two no, so that. that's what, what we were saying. So he's got two more turns, I've got one. Um, he just leaves his general there so he doesn't die. Um, yeah, yeah. His, um, my my chosen kill his gorgons and we say that he goes into my... Um, yeah, and overruns. Uh, overruns through. Uh, yeah. and is far enough away from my warriors to not mm. worry about them. Uh, the shadow riders uh, continue on because they feign flight. They just run out of the way uh, mm. the spears I probably can't get uh, mm. and basically leaves him with the three units you can see on the board with his, yeah, his yeah. dread knights in the in my deployment zone so we've both got an uh, opponent's deployment zone we've both got a neutral but I've got an additional neutral and my own deployment mm. zone at the back meaning I win yes just straight win yeah, it's, yeah. it's a win loss thing um, I, I didn't actually lose too many points in the end either no. um very good. Uh, so, uh, I actually I got half points for a chosen uh, one of the chosen blocks at the top, mm-hmm. and then another chosen block. So, yeah, um, uh, good stuff. probably one of my in- most interesting battles so far in sure, terms yeah, of yeah. Uh, things happening and having to play the army. Um, mm. Whereas I feel like my two wins, the army just won itself. Um, and the losses yeah. are outplayed by bigger manoeuvrable things. So this was the one probably where I probably had my best um, battle with this list um, yeah. so far. And uh, It's really interesting to see the contrast, in, the contrast in how Trent's list coming up against my combat riddles and then coming up against your combat warriors. Yes. Like, it's a to- totally different outcome. Literally, you're literally like 40 points apart in terms of the result. Yeah. And that just shows you how certain things make things different. Um, re- no, really cool seeing Trent twice in two battles. Yeah, well. it was. And yeah. we were, uh, so we joked quite a bit about him, him not playing us in the whole history of Ninth Age and then all of a sudden <laughs> yeah. twice in a row. Yeah, literally um, within a week of each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I Very said, good. Yeah. Very good. We had a joke about buses, but we can't say that uh, online. Um Okay. <laughs> Here we are then. Um, winning semi-finals, and going baby. Into the semi-finals. I'm now uh, top four, uh, so guaranteed Brilliant. fourth, uh, which I'm very, very pleased of. And just again, apart from this battle, I, I don't really know how I got here. So I'm just enjoying the show because you're a good player. That's it, mate. Um, uh, so <laughs> uh, <laughs> snap him up, snap him up. Uh, so yes, yeah. uh, here we go. Uh, looking forward to a semi-final against. I mean, who other? Who else are you going to be playing in that sort of time? Uh, then Hugh, a good Hugh. player. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Hugh with his demons, very interesting to play. Haven't actually played demons. Oh, uh, another one this yeah. year. Well, considering Maybe everyone longer. is jumping on the bandwagon, there are so many demon players. So uh, uh, that would be really interesting, yeah. and I especially haven't uh, done a list like like uh, played against a list like Hugh. So um, excited to play it. Uh, can't say I'm the most optimistic because it's Hugh, regardless of who he's playing. Um, yeah. But, you know, it's got, this list has got me this far, so why mm. can't it get me further? Absolutely. And will we see the Lust Warriors do something oh. useful? Let's try. We'll Look, try our best. You tried in this one. You say, Well, you say you tried. We tried something different. I'm, we do try something sure. different. I'll, I'll give a spoiler. I try something different in the... Uh, Another thing different. Wow, yeah. okay. Uh, with the Lust Warriors. Um, but I will... Leave it till next time to explain. Lovely. All right, cool. Give us some comments, give us some likes, give us some subscriptions. If you haven't already, why not? Uh, if you fancy Patreon, please do. We will love you forevermore. And uh, yeah, you can find us on all the usual channels with the links below. <laughs> you, you usually say that bit. That's great. Um, mainly because you're responsible for all those links. So. Relax. <laughs> yeah. You carry on. You do need to relax. You've got a semi final coming up, I baby. Do. Do, do. do your stretches. Yeah. Wicked. All right, we'll see you there then, guys. 